Hello everyone, Pac-Man everyone here, with the finished project of the Ion Fury review and unboxing. I have had absolute fun time recording this game and editing it to get back and watch myself. I'll be going over the talking points on screen. I also pre I also apologize for the lack of in-game audio. I am using recordings of whole videos and I don't want my voice to overlap and cause confusion. Thank you for listening and enjoy the video. Ion Fury is a prequel game for another game made back in 2016 called Bombshell. But let's stay on Ion Fury Graving Train since I may play Bombshell another time. Ion Fury is a 2019 cyberpunk first person shooter video game made by Voidpoint and published by 3D Realms. Funnily enough, the game and Bombshell were both going through some legal issues during its development because Ion Fury was going through was going to be called Ion Maiden. As you can imagine, Iron Maiden thought the name and design choices were too similar to the style of the metal band, so they changed some stuff around and named it Ion Fury instead. Goodness gracious, two million dollars! In Ion Fury, you play as Shelly Bombshell Harrison, voiced by Valerie Michelle Aram. You probably heard her as Ari Minami from the Persona 4 animation. Shelly is a bomb disposal expert aligned to the Global Defense Force. Dr. Jadis Heskel, voiced by John St. John, you might know him as the voice of Duke Nukem and <laughs> Dig the Cat. Dr. Heskel is a transhumanist cult leader who unleashes an army of cybernetically enhanced soldiers on the futuristic dystopian city of Neo DC, which Shelly is tasked with fighting through. The game is very fluid, fast, and fun for the era this game tries to replicate offering a wide assortment of enemies ranging from infantry to specialist types to boss-like enemies. Thanks to the game being so new, while also being homage to Duke Nukem era, this game has such fun physics and can do all of it while sporting Duke Nukem-like sprites and relying on them quite well. It's quite ballsy to use pur purposefully use graphic styles of older games to run a newer game because of quality critics and realism garens who will shriek at graphics. In my opinion, the graphics work well in this setting, gameplay, and style of shooter. In my opinion, these sprites are timeless and will very well work even to the standards all games have today. I think it's for the same reason Minecraft has done so well. Its graphics don't age, the devs use a style of graphics that will never grow old or will never date. They aren't the best, sure, but they don't have to. They just have to be memorable. And I think that favor is definitely in Ion Fury's case, much like how it was in Duke Nukem 3D's case. This game starts you off with a stun stick and Shelly's personal weapon, Loverboy, an 18-shot triple-barreled revolver, followed by a shotgun grenade launcher hybrid, napalm round Uzis, a laser crossbow sniper, and another one of Shelly's personal weapons, the bowling bombs. Using this game's physics engine, you can bowl grenades into your enemies, turning any choke point or narrow corridor into a bowling alley. Can you name any shooters that let you kill enemies by bowling? Alright, I'll wait. <clears throat> okay, fair, Serious Sam has the cannon. Overall, I have to say the recording this game was an awesome time. The gameplay was fast, fun, and creative with how it approached a classic genre of shooters. I have to give this game a 9 out of 10. The game isn't perfect by any stretch, nor would I say it dethrones Duke Nukem by any stretch or margin. But I will say this. Did a great job for what it went for, and is a solid game to pick up and play or challenge yourself on the higher difficulties. This game is a diamond among the hidden gems, and most certainly gave me my money's worth then some from that humble bumble sale. Shelly is a fun character, and I can easily see her fit alongside Duke Nukem, the Doom Slayer, the Master Chief, Sirius Sam, and many others of the arcade shooter genres and other archetypes as they slowly make their way to the top of the shooter building once again. So, <clears throat> I know we died 11 times, so I just decided to round it up to 12, for even number's sake. We've got 9 Spooky Spoils cases. Uh, the last of my Spooky Spoils cases I will be unboxing no more after these. I'm tired of, I'm tired of looking at this blue spider. So, open with a key. Here we go. The Rack Man.
That's a that's a soldier cosmetic. Yeah, soldier, because of the because of the raccoon sanctuary. Two items. The skull brero. Is that pyro? Is that for pyro? Another backpack expander. Yes, absolutely. We're off to a decent start. Another convict cap. I already have one. I used one in the uh, in the Halloween special. Oh, great. We got a repeat. That is bound to happen. Head of the Dead. Man, I wish I had that. I wish I had that one in the um, in the Day of the Dead uh, video I did. Another fuel injector. I already have one. Of course, you're gonna get the repeats of the common ones. Candy cranium. I already have a painted one on my professor patches uh, set. Pocket Halloween boss, I think I already have one. Two items. Avian Amante. Amante. I think I'm, I'm probably butchering that. Another pocket boss is... Oh, strange. It's slightly less worthless. Another bread biter. I already have one. No more of those ones. Now we're on to the... We're on to the winter 2019 cosmetic cases. Not the last of them, but definitely gonna try to work those down. Yule Hog. <laughs> it's, a, it's, it's, it's a ham top hat. Citizen Kane. It's kind of funny. Another top hat, but this one's candy cane. Please, no more food-based cosmetics. Glitter and garland. Huh. It's like a scarf cosmetic, right? So since we're finished that one, we're going to go ahead and open these two because they were here. Add a little bit more spice. We're gonna open up the uh, the we're gonna open up the um, the stocking first. Another a gift of pulp, obvious. Description tag, obvious. Name tag, obvious. A Persian persuader, I already have a better one. Buff banner, I already have a better one. Another backpack expander, I'll definitely take that. Muscle man brawn, a paint. The Smith Smith sweater, war paint, that again. We're always gonna get those. And a criticola. And now the Manco store package. Who's ready to get a unique weapon? That's going to mean absolutely nothing. The diamond back. I will definitely probably craft something out of that in, in, in the future. So, thank you for watching me play Ion Fury. And until next time, See you on the other side.